All right, we're going to continue with our uh, looking at the ecosystems of risk uh, syllabus dot points. So we have the fourth dot point, the evaluation of the traditional and contemporary management strategies. Um, really, the things that we're looking at here is, so firstly, the big word here is the evaluation. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit later. But basically, we're going to be looking at traditional, contemporary, management strategies. So, so three different things that we're going to be looking at. So traditional management strategies, contemporary management strategies, and then the big one is making a judgment and evaluation of those. So let's get into it. What do you need to do? Um, you need to effectively evaluate, and I'll sort of be harping back on that word, management strategies. And to do that, you first need to know what's the management philosophy being used or the management approach you sometimes hear it's called. And then we're going to use, say, well, how does it how can we evaluate in terms of a criteria, and the criteria being the uh, Ecological Sustainable Development or ESD criteria? So we're going to be saying, well, I guess firstly, is the management philosophy being used the right management philosophy, and does it fit with ESD? Um, firstly, before we even get into the part of it, I think the thing that we want to look at is, well, what does it mean to evaluate? It's the first word in the dot point, and... To evaluate, we're going to be making a judgment, presenting an opinion, um, trying to basically say you know, whether the approach is the right approach. And you're going to have to make a judgment based on the reading, your research that you've done on the management strategy, um, be it the traditional or the contemporary management strategy being used in either the sample study or on the case study that you'll be looking at as well. As I said, the criteria being used is the one of ESD, and we're going to look at yeah that management philosophy or approach. That term often gets interchanged. Firstly, we look at management philosophies. Um, I, there are many different types of management philosophies that you can use, um, or management approaches be, that you can use. In, the, in all the textbooks that you that you see, there are. Uh, they're, they're, they're similar, um, but they sometimes get reworded in a different way. These are the four that I like. I like these four because I think they also fit with the values for reasons to manage and protect from the dot point previously. And as I've said before, a good student will always be able to link back to or link forward to the dot points. So a good student can say, well, why do we manage and protect for all those other reasons for intrinsic utility, heritage value? And then they'll be able to link that to these uh, management philosophies or approaches. Basically, it's broken into four. Preservation and conservation are going to be more associated on the whole with management um, values such as intrinsic value and heritage value and conservation and management and protection of biodiversity, whereas utilisation and exploitation are going to tend to be more along the lines of the utility value. Not always, um, but where, where you would go with this was you'd be sort of saying, well, in an ecosystem at risk, is a management strategy of, say, conservation, the right management strategy, perhaps, you know, that you, you could argue that preservation might be the right one, or that, you know, utilisation might actually protect it better. There's, um, so you, you, you're you evaluating not only its uh, criteria for ESD, but also if you feel that management philosophy or the management approach is um, the correct one. ESD, or Ecological Sustainability, um, Deve uh, Ecological Sustainable Development Criteria, has four as well, which is the reason why I said I like the four before, because I feel then it's an easy thing to remember. You've got four criteria for ESD and you've got four management philosophy, uh, four management yeah, philosophies and approaches. Um, inter and intra-generational equity, so for the people within the current generation and then future generations. Whether the precautionary approach is being managed and then also the maintenance of bio biological diversity. Now, you, I, I'll let, these are always, these are all sort of in the textbooks and, and you can find them everywhere, so I'm not going to go through those now. But you'd be basically as an evaluative statement saying, you know, is your management approach taking this into account? And you, you know, you might be able to say a good evaluation is always going to say, well, there's certain parts that, you know, they're doing well and certain parts of that, they may not be erring on the side of caution, for example, or certain parts of the biological diversity is being maintained, whereas it's at the expense of others. So um, a good evaluation is always going to probably take, uh, you know, 
be measured and and uh, and focus on some things and then and then comment on others. Uh, I always think you know when you're going to be evaluating, you need to have some good you need to have some words to be able to evaluate. And so for my students, this is just um, this is just a little table I've found that I think is effective. Uh, yeah, not to not to sort of harp on that at the top there, but. Some terms you can use if you feel a, a, a management approach is effective, then yeah, you can say that you know, things like it is yeah a successful, a productive, a useful um, strategy, somewhat effective, moderately effective, somewhat ineffective, unsuccessful, unproductive, unworkable, inadequate. These are all great terms that you can use in a response if, for this dot point when you're having to evaluate uh, the management strategies. Final thoughts, um, I guess the main thing is being able to have some good examples uh, of both contemporary and traditional management uh, strategies and management philosophies. I guess the only thing I haven't really talked about too much is for traditional management strategies, the only thing that I've probably m missed out is that uh, the traditional management strategies and philosophies tend to focus around the concept of stewardship, certainly um, around the case studies that we look at um, and so as a, a management approach you may sort of think about linking that to one of those four management approaches. Anyway, look, um, the next uh, dot point is the case studies um, and in that one there we'll be obviously uh, focusing on this as well. Alright, we'll see you later.